All right, now we're going to do a battery load test. And it's important how you hook this up to the battery. You always take and hook up the positive lead first and the negative lead last. That's so you won't make any sparks and have an explosion. Now, I'm going to set the meter up on top of the battery so you can see it properly. You'll notice that it's reading in the high green. It, it's reading 13 volts. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the load test. There's a switch on the bottom of the load tester that puts a load on the battery. It heats up a heating coil which is behind this grill here. When I put the switch on, you're going to see the meter drop. Now what you would do is you would count 10 seconds by going 1,001, 1,002, etc. until you get to 1,010 very slowly. You'll feel the heat coming out of the grill here and then when you let go of the switch, well there's two things you want to know. First of all, you notice it barely dropped down into the yellow. Second is, when we let it go, it goes right back up to about 13 volts again. So that means the battery is really in very good shape, this particular battery. So that's how you use a load tester. Now when you take it off, you always take off the ground first. You do it opposite than, the, than going on. And take off the positive last, again, so you won't make any sparks.